I'm just gonna do the rest with the brush this I think that's what I want. <laughs> Love you. Before this video begins, we have a sponsor, so let the ad roll and don't skip. Catch you in a moment. Go. Oh. <laughs> Raid Shadow Legends. One of the biggest RPG projects of 2019 has just been released and it's on mobile. But don't let that turn you away because this thing can only be compared to some of the biggest PC and console titles out there and it's free. Raid has all the features you'd expect from a brand new RPG title such as an amazing storyline, awesome 3D graphics and the boss fights are huge. You got PvP battles and hundreds of champions to collect and customize. And the customization in this game is pretty awesome. I mean, look at these champions. They look absolutely amazing. The details are incredible. You can use various artifacts and create your own unique mastery build of each one of these characters. This game is no joke. The moment I downloaded it, I sunk three hours into it so I could get clans unlocked. If you want to join my clan, you're going to have to download the game. And I will be playing this quite regularly because I cannot get off of it at the moment. I'm currently sat at level 16, so I need your help in the PvP arena. So click the link in the description down below to get 50,000 silver plus a free epic champion to start your adventure. This game is really good. It has over 300,000 reviews and a perfect score on the Play Store. So if you don't trust me, you gotta trust them. Not to mention every day you log in, you get new daily rewards. Plus the new Faction Wars feature has finally been released. So I look forward to seeing you and I look forward to taking down some clan bosses together. Let's get on with the video. What's going on YouTube? My name is ADC Art Attack and welcome back to episode 9 of our professional, slightly immature, artist colouring in a children's colouring book. This series is about to hit 10 episodes, so thank you so much. Before we get started, and in celebration of the brand new Joker movie releasing, can we all agree that he is like the best fictional villain ever? But with all things, everyone has different opinions, so I put this to you. Who is your favourite villain in fiction? Leave a comment below. And with that said, what are we doing today? We are going all the way back to almost where this series began. Remember this? This book features in episode two. I'll leave a link in the description down below if you haven't seen it yet. Back then, we colored in Batman. But since that fateful day, I have been bombarded by comments of people requesting that I color in Batman's greatest enemy. Me! <laughs> Before we start, I got one thing to show you. Robin! <laughs> Let's begin! Alright, so here we have the lovely Batman Colorio coloring book. Now, I'm not going to flick through this entirely because we did that back in episode 2 of the coloring book sessions. So let's have a look inside this and quickly see what we did last time. This is an example right here of the sort of Joker material you get inside this book, which is pretty lackluster. As you can see, he's very small. There's not much to really work with there. And it does repeat the pattern here. It's quite difficult. This one is sort of Batman abusing the Joker, which I don't think is a really good look for him, so we're not going to do that. Anyway, let's try and find the first one we did. Oh, huh, there you go. So there it is. This is the Batman we did. It sort of set everything in motion, which I'm pretty proud of this. We've come a long way since we started this, but this one, it looks pretty good, and I really do like it. So let's get forward to the Joker image we'll be using. This one's pretty nice, but again, it's very small, and it's just difficult to work with images that are this small, but it's still an option, but right now I want to look at the one that we've got at the back and see what you think about it. And here we are, so this is the Joker image I wanted to use. Now again, it looks very plain, but it looks kind of dynamic and it has that sort of plain look that I think I can work magic with. So I want to do a little bit here, uh, you probably noticed there's a bit of blue over here. This was actually something that I did. It wasn't a test, but it was the thumbnail for the other one so yeah but back to this so i'm gonna pretty much stray away from what we've got here and hopefully surprise you all let's see what we can do here this is gonna be fun and in celebration of the joker i think we're gonna have to make this look very special so let's get on with it Alrighty, so here we are finally onto the coloring now the joker is just a great character i mean i've said it already but Really do like this character, and I was a little bit, you know, saddened by the images that I had to choose from. However, you guys know me, and I like to get a little bit ambitious with these projects. So, once again, I am trying to do a style today that I've just never done. The style I'll be going for will be the sort of graphic novel. However, I'll be including a sort of comic book standard type vibe to it as well, just to keep it kind of lighthearted. Although, this is definitely my darkest project yet. 
So, as is tradition with all of my colouring books, what I like to start with is layering down the base colours. Now, I am primarily going to be focusing on Joker right now, and I say that for a reason. You'll have to stick through the video and see what I mean by that. But at the moment, we're going to be sticking with Joker. So, let's get that base colour down. Um, at this point, I tried layering like a double layer down, which I usually do with my colours, but I, I mean, <laughs> it's kind of pointless here. I wasn't really getting anywhere, so um, yeah, bye. Let's grab a deeper tone. So, uh, Amethyst sounds like a nice colour, I guess. Uh, cool. It's got a cool name, so that'll work. Uh, yeah, let's try that. Okay, seriously, I've really got to start making practice tests before I do this. I mean, I, I just like to live dangerously. So while I'm getting on with this, I figured, yeah, let's just talk about the paper quality itself. And because not everyone saw the Batman video originally, and I did go into it a little bit there, but the paper, it's not terrible it's obviously not the best paper in the world uh, I would liken it to something like just cartridge paper a little bit thinner I'd say but it's it's not terrible it's actually quite a decent coloring book Uh, there is a little bit of bleeding between the colours, you don't really bleed outside the lines, it's pretty held together quite nicely, but yeah, when you start to apply colours on top of each other, they do bleed, which actually lends itself quite nicely to the style I'll be going for today, and I'd like to say that the style I'm going for, I decided before doing this, but I'd be lying because I never really plan anything, so I just started colouring and then I just figured, hey, let's go for a different style. So the markers I'm using today are Pro Markers and Brush Markers by Windsor & Newton. These are my go-to markers and I'm actually going to try to limit myself on just using markers today. I don't really want to use any pencils or anything, which as I've said before, they do make it a little bit easier to get much more detailed pieces of artwork. However, I like to challenge myself. It's kind of the thing that I do over here, doing like new things all the time and I don't know why I keep doing this, but that's what we're doing. So for me to do this sort of graphic novel style, in my head I'm saying to myself, let's get some sort of washed out colours, but this is the Joker, and I feel like the character is in his clothing, you know, this character's clothing really stands out, they're bright, they're vibrant, for the most part, and I just sort of want that to come across, which kind of contradicts the sort of graphic style that I was thinking about going for, so we're going to blend the two here. Um, I will be using a lot of black in this, which actually proves quite a nightmare with recording. Um, the reason being is the black, for some reason, is like the only reflective color ever, which is weird because black's kind of not reflective. I mean, it's a, it absorbs light and heat and stuff, but yeah, cool. The character here has very small details for the most part. This was actually the largest of the Joker images that I found in the book. And that does itself add quite a challenge to this piece. Obviously the paper being what it is and with the bleeding that it has, um, it's very difficult to do small details. So there are some areas as we go where I have to sort of substitute, you know, I have to say to myself, look, I... I can't really go over the top detailed here, so we're gonna have to kind of cheat here. That said, I do have a plan later on, so I can get away with not being crazy detailed, I think. As always, if you are wanting to know the colors that I'm using, I will link them down below in the description. So just make sure you read that. You'll see a full list of my colors that I'm using. And you're probably wondering at this point, you know, how am I putting down the shadows? Where where am I putting them? How do I know what I'm doing? This again is a, is a very difficult thing to explain. Um, if I'm honest, I have no idea. I have a very basic knowledge on shadows coming from basic shapes such as cubes, spheres, any sort of simplistic shape and we use those and we apply them into a character's model. So if I'm looking at a torso, we know that a torso is essentially a cylinder shape. So all we have to do from here is know how light interacts with a cylinder, and from there we get a basic idea of where the shadow should be. Now in terms of doing the creases of the clothing and everything, that goes a little bit deeper than that, you have to think a little bit more. So you go one step beyond the cylinder, you have the basic cylinder shape, 
but now you're going one step beyond it. So now you're looking at all of those details on top of that cylinder, how are they interacting? So you know that the ones that are in the shadow are shaded, but now how much are they shaded? How much more shadow should they have? And I do understand it's a very difficult concept to explain like this, and it is even more difficult to showcase, but when you do break these things down to their simplistic shapes, that is when it becomes just a little bit easier to understand and to know. This is a more advanced style of drawing if you are going to do something like that. But again, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Go with the basic cylinder first, and if you feel like you want to go more, go more. So working on Joker's face, this is the most enjoyable part of this entire piece. The guy is insane, and you can be as free as you like with this, you can mess up his makeup, which is what I do, and the black shading really comes in handy here. The more black you place on his face, in those shadowy areas, the more impactful it makes the scene, it makes the expression on his face, and his insanity is really showing through here. I made sure to add loads of these little black dots, little black lines, because they just... They add a really gritty, kind of raw nature to the piece. And you'll notice that I added them across the entire body as well, some of them are something else. But as I am aware that there are many families and many children that watch these videos, I gotta keep the gore to a minimum. But I still wanted to respect the Joker fans out there, so... You'll see what happens. Alright, so this is it. This is the special moment. So Joker is complete here and he looks really nice. I'm super, super happy with the result. I'm very satisfied. I could really leave the video here. However, I'm ADC and I just have to go the extra mile. So it's time to pick up the pencil and let's start adding someone else. Have you guessed who it is yet? Oh yeah. See, this guy had a bad relationship with the Joker once, and I really wanted to put it in this book. You see, this is a coloring book. This is a children's coloring book, and with that, I feel like a lot of the insanity of the character Joker is lost here. Without having animation, without having speech bubbles or uh, story panels, it's very hard to, to, to sort of gauge the mental mindset of this man. So I wanted to add a character in here that has a very, very strong presence within Joker's sort of story. To include him, I had to work on a perspective to make sure that he was fitting the scene, that he, he fit the placement that he was in. So that was the first challenge. And I also needed to tone back a little bit. You do notice that some of my sketch lines there, I had a little bit of blood that I, I figured I shouldn't really do. Um, I wanted to give the impression that yes, he has been hit, but there's more to come. This was honestly such a powerful drawing for me to do here, and I really felt this one. I wanted to make sure that while colouring in Robin, I included a lot of those dark black shadows. I just felt that they added a lot more intense to this scene, and for me it was more important that he had a very high contrast versus the Joker. So let's finish him up before we add some very, very important details.
All right, so at this point, I'm gonna start adding some details here, some sort of external details. Now this ties into the background. I'm now starting to use a pencil, which is something I said I didn't wanna use, but for this particular effect, it is a must. There's sort of no way around it. So I'm using a pencil just to apply a light mist to the edge of the character because I'm gonna have him standing in a sort of torrential downpour. I want the rain to be very heavy. And for me, this is a symbolization of the character. I want this sort of background to play into the Joker's character. I don't want to add speech bubbles. I don't want, well, there's no animation here. So I can't convey the sort of scene that I'm trying to set here without using a very dynamic background. So that is what we're doing here. And that is what's going to change this piece from just a character on the page to a story being told. Rain is something that most humans tend to avoid. The rain comes down, we go inside. However, right here, we have the Joker laughing, smiling, giggling to himself in hysterics with a hammer swinging over his head while the rain is pounding down on him. That paints a picture. That really, really does. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna let this just play out right now. And I'm going to come back to you when we are done with this so we can review the entire piece as a whole. I gotta say, I'm really looking forward to revealing it. So, enjoy. Um, whoa, what, wow, he's, he's crazy. This, um, yeah, what do you think about it? Do you like it? I do, a lot, actually, I really do. This is something way different from anything I've ever done before. I, firstly, I never really do anything gory or insane or anything like this. Uh, it's not really my sort of artistic style. Uh, but secondly, I've never done this kind of coloring style. I've never done a sort of graphic novel and I don't know if it really ties I'm not sure because I'm obviously not an expert in that sort of field of coloring so I don't know if that really falls into the graphic novel you'll have to let me know if I've done well here um, all I can say is that I like it and I think that is the key thing here it's very rare for me to like my artwork and I really do like this now while there are areas I believe I could have done better in um, for the most part, I think this came out just the way I had envisioned, if not better. The rain was a very scary thing to add, but I think I was able to balance this quite well with the inclusion of it bouncing off of both characters. So did I do good today? What do you think of the video? Did you enjoy the drawing? Because I think it came out pretty good and I really enjoyed getting into some makeup here, even if it was only for some short moments, but I really liked it and this just looks cool. <laughs> So with all that being said, thank you so much for tuning into the video, thank you for watching and supporting me throughout this series, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. My name's ADC Art Attack, his name is Bob, and we'll see you next time. Take care, bye bye.